Hi, and welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the chords C, A minor, F, and G7, and some oldies that you can play with those chords. If you haven't already, you can click on the video above to get in a bit more practice with the chord changes. For this lesson, we'll be just looking at the songs. First up, we've got So Lonely. Now, it's four strums of each chord. You can use either your thumb or your index finger. I'm going to use my thumb. And we'll start on the count of four, beginning with C. One, two, three, four. Lonely, I am so lonely. I need somebody to call my own. Lonely, I'm Mr. Lonely. I need somebody to call on the phone. So you get the gist. Four simple strums of each chord and the pattern repeats in a cycle. Next up we have Blue Moon, which is two strums of each chord. This will feel like you have to change chords a lot faster. So I'm going to count to two rather than four. And remember that it's going to be two down strums of each chord. On the count of two, starting on C. One, two. One, two, change. 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 So it's quite quick. Blue moon. I saw you standing alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own Okay, so last up it's basically the same as Blue Moon, and it's heart and soul. So two strums of each chord again, starting on C. One, two, heart and soul. I fell in love with you, heart and soul. I fell in love with you, magic. So you get the gist. The chord progression is quite versatile. You can use it on lots of different songs. The strumming pattern that I was using was mostly a simple thumb strum for those songs, but we'll get into some other strumming patterns for that same chord progression in the future. So I'm imagining that most of you are quite self-motivated learners as you're doing this course, but I'm going to set you some homework anyway, and that is to choose one of those three songs and to practice it every day. Now, you can find a friend who can help by doing the singing and you can play along, or you can try doing the singing yourself, but the key here is to have that practice every day of those chords in that order, and also to really enjoy the song and to find a song that you want to learn and that you're self-motivated to continue learning and developing and get, getting better at as you go. So I hope you enjoy that challenge and I wish you happy practicing and happy strumming.